what's up you guys coming back at you with another video this time we're going to be doing something pretty funny here and it's just going to be 10 mispronounced words that are commonly seen throughout magic a lot of these words a lot of people just mistake them because they're not usually found elsewhere outside of magic or other fantasy related games or literature and it can be easy to mispronounce a lot of these but some of these are kind of easy to get so let's start it off here with the first one which is actually one I've mispronounced multiple times and I just didn't know about it because it's one of those words that isn't really common and it has its roots in ancient Persia in Greece it's uh, magus which is usually mispronounced like magus which is understandable usually when we see a word like this I mean it's basically like mage you know because usually a mage and wizards are they're commonly associated so why not just call it a magus a magus is part of the magi which is the plural of magus so it is very close but it, I mean it's one of those things that you can get confused with easily so I can understand if people have a problem with this word it helps to get the proper pronunciation here because there are a ton of these guys and they all do pretty good things they're based off of the older versions of cards that their name references like magus of the wheel here is a reference to wheel of fortune like so many other cards are references to older awesome cards as well the next one here is Jin, and some people enunciate things differently here, and it's usually they overpronounce the D. D Jin, it's not D Jin, it's Jin, and there are a lot of people that still struggle with that. All of these, for reference, are real words. None of these words that I'm showing you on this list are made up or anything that Wizards of the Coast made up and put on their cards. All ten of these words I'm showing you on this list are actual real words. Next we have Umizawa's Jite, or at least that's what a lot of people think. The funny thing here is that it's actually one of the most mispronounced words of any magic card. We just don't see this word enough throughout the English language. And so we kind of struggle to find some sort of pronunciation here in the English language because it's not a commonly seen word. Usually how people have pronounced this card, it's either one of two things. It's either jit or jite. So you're either putting no emphasis on the E or you're putting a ton of emphasis on the E when in reality if you look at the Japanese pronunciation for the word it's just a simple jitta it's very quick and it's pretty indicative of the Japanese language enunciation is completely different in the English language we tend to put a lot more emphasis on the ends of our words so most people if you would run into them and you ask them how to pronounce it they would say jite or something like that when in reality it's just a jitta there is like a slight pause in between the word. There is emphasis on the E, but it's not as much as most English speakers would put on it. Next we have Pernicious Deed. Now, a funny thing about this card is that a lot of people uh, I've run into and a lot of people I've played with, and I just noticed this whenever I see deck text of a lot of these cards and people mispronounce them. Uh, I've noticed a lot of people call it Pernicious Deed or uh, Perniculus or whatever. They just completely butcher the name and... Yeah, it's it's definitely pernicious deed. And next we have a land here, which is Frontier Bivouac. It's not that I see a ton of people just completely butcher the name here. More or less just people avoiding the name altogether. It's easy to mispronounce words that you don't typically see. It is bivouac, and there are technically two pronunciations where you enunciate three syllables, so you're going bivouac, and then there's the other pronunciation that's just bivouac. Next we have another funny word here, and it is Seder. And believe it or not, there are a ton of people that still mispronounce this word. It is commonly seen throughout Greek mythology and literature. We mainly saw this word throughout the Theros block because the whole block is just based around Greek mythology anyway. It is Seder, but I still see a ton of people just completely butcher the name, and they call it like a, a satire or a satire or... A satire which is completely different it's hilarious to see how people pronounce things but I mean I'm, I'm guilty of mispronouncing words as well so I'm not going to make you feel too stupid and next we have probably the most difficult word to get right out of any card on this list here and it's probably one of the funniest names in all of magic it is Phthisis which is really pronounced one of two ways it's actually pronounced either Thysis or Tysis Basically, the word is just a reference to uh, pulmonary tuberculosis or other forms of progressive systematic diseases. And this is probably the most understandable of any word 
on this list or just any word in magic in general. It's one of those oddball words that you have the pronunciation that completely just ignores the P and the H's or you just have the pronunciation that ignores the P and the H at the beginning of the word. It's a very awkward word and it's not something you would typically expect to see in the English language and just about everybody's gonna mess this word up if they haven't seen it before. Then we have another card which gets butchered all the time. Usually how it gets pronounced is Viserysir, when in reality it's just Viserysir, because Viscera is an actual thing. It's basically like your guts. The flavor text even hints towards that as well. It's understandable for some people who have never seen the word Viscera before, but it is Viserysir. It does kind of make sense. He is a vampire, so it would have something to do with guts and blood, something like that. But I've seen a lot of people, gameplay and deck text, they call it Viserysir and... Oh, just kind of cringeworthy there, but it's good that we get the proper pronunciations. And the next two are very similar. Uh, the first one here, we have Arcanus the Omnipotent, and the word here being Omnipotent. And a ton of people mispronounce this all the time, and I hear it, I just laugh whenever I hear them. The most common mispronunciation is Omnipotent, so they kind of hyphenate the word there, and it, they make it like Omnipotent, when in reality it's just Omnipotent. And for some people, it's either that they just can't pronounce that, it's too quick for them, or they just don't know what the word is altogether. But basically, it's omnipotence, just being really powerful. I mean, you have all the power in the world, basically. The next one here is the card omniscience, which is just the word here. Omniscience is essentially just, you know, knowing everything. This is probably the biggest meme of all of the words in magic. So many people call this omniscience, because it is basically science and omni put together, but really it's just omniscience and then you have this <laughs> then you have the small percentage of people that actually pronounce it omniscience because <laughs> their grasp of the english language is just terrible so anyway guys that is going to be it for this video let me know if you like this i might make a series out of it but i don't know how much i can put into it there's only so many cards that people get the pronunciations wrong Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I do a ton of other videos that you might like. If you want to support my Patreon, the link will be in the description below. I appreciate all support I can get from my channel. Anyway, Void here signing off. You all have a wonderful day.